Just getting our last two panels up. <clears throat> Ended up having to dig a few more roots out of this uh, <coughs> hole down here. Had to just nudge it back a little bit. Lots of roots suddenly appeared. Um, <coughs> I've got a little bit lucky with this last one. Actually ended up landing slap bang between the two, two stumps. So as you can see, did have quite a few roots to cut through. But lucky enough, I didn't have to dig the whole stumps out. So, struggling here on my own, lumping stuff about, but hopefully, have it finished shortly. Just have to level this ground off slightly. And we'll be done. Hey everyone, <coughs> well, the fence is almost finished. I would have had it done yesterday. It was a nice day, so although I was on my own, I thought I'd try getting the last two two panels up, which involved me dragging another eight foot post down there on my own, and another gravel board, which they are bloody heavy, but I thought, uh, shame to let a nice day go to waste, I can get it finished. I got the, the end panel you can see up there at the moment, I got that one all up and sorted, Got as far as redigging the hole a bit bigger for the end one. Got the gravel board down there, had the post in, was all ready to drop the concrete post in and thought uh, the post sitting a little bit higher than the rest, so uh, dragged it back out. Then dug the hole a little bit more. And then when I was sliding that gravel board back into place, I bloody pulled somebody in my back. So uh, that was rather annoying. It's sitting there all ready to go. The house Holes dug, the post is sitting right next to it, just literally needs picking up, dropping in the hole, and the concrete mix put in. But I really did pull me back quite badly yesterday, so I thought it'd be a bit crazy to go out there and even attempt to pick that post up again. So a little bit annoying, as it would have all been finished now. But my daughter's finishing early today, so between the two of us, I'm sure her back's not feeling quite so bad today. Uh, we should be able to drop it in between us. So I did look it up, those 8 foot concrete posts actually weigh 36 kilograms and the gravel board is 42. So really not something you should be pulling about on your own, I knew it's sort of not a great idea to do it. But just wanted to get the job finished and be able to tick that one off the list and move on to the next job in the garden. Definitely a two-man job when it comes to moving the heavy parts about, so be warned, you might throw your back out if you try doing it by yourself. So hopefully it will be all finished in the next couple of hours. Yeah, catch you later. Hey everyone, yeah, fence is finished at last, so I thought I'd just show you the finished result. Not looking too bad for someone who's never Put a fence up before. So, just about to cut a piece to size to fit in this end bit. There was a scrap bit made up from the old fence but unfortunately not quite big enough. all I've got to do, just fill that little gap in. So, a little bit of me is thinking I should have gone to the trouble of clearing all this. I could have probably come a, could probably come another four foot or so. Probably could have actually cleared quite a big space here. So, yeah, maybe I should have put the effort in to, to do that, but... I made this decision not to go to the to the trouble of doing it all. If ever come to selling this house, it's a council house, but I'm thinking of putting it in to buy it. So I suppose if the day ever come when I was thinking of selling it, then maybe I'd just rip this bit of fencing down and clear it. Obviously, a bit daft to do that, might have to put it up, but 
yeah, it wouldn't be that big a job really if you ever made the decision to do it. Whip a few posts out and extend down again. It's it's doable. That big mound of dirt in the corner was the main bit putting me off like. I've dug some away from that actually and it actually takes you quite a bit of time to move it and all the crap that's tangled in with it. But Not to worry, so the garden's still going to be a decent size. So I've got this uh, old panel here, I'm going to cut that up to fit in nicely in that gap. Hopefully that might deter some of the cats that are getting here all the time make it that little bit harder for them. I'll actually have to put some energy in and climb over the fence now. Yeah, the next job I'm thinking of doing is just doing a, a rough levelling off of the of the soil. Get it roughly right. Then this line of past slabs down the garden. I'm thinking of whipping all them up, putting some new slabs down. Maybe with some concrete edging down it, so give me a little bit of leeway if I want to build the, the soil up against it a bit. So I think that's going to be the next one on the list. And I've got a couple of my mate, get him to come and get the rest of these uh, logs away. Just get them out of my way. But basically, walk out the fence done, lads. So here's a job you can do yourself, so I've never done it before, so I had my mate give me a hand doing half of it. But... Once you've got a couple of posts in, then you soon get into the swing of doing it. Yeah, alright, that's it for now. bit tight to film here guys but that's the just a temporary one for now that wood's quite rotten but just fills that gap in for now i shall do that at a later date so, a little bit tricky as it's about three inches wider at the bottom than it is at the top but that's slotted in quite well keep them pesky cats out